Hey guys, um, it's me, of course, I don't know who else it would be, um, so I decided to make a video today because I'm really bored and I'm pretty exhausted, um, I had a orientation today for, um, this adult ed program that I'm trying to get into, and I was seven minutes late and they would not let me in, and I was pretty pissed because I had a ride bike with my boyfriend all the way across town and I was like exhausted because I'm so out of shape right now and um <laughs> I mean I could my I don't know my head was like pounding you know and my arms were tired and my I was so exhausted that I felt like I wanted to barf yeah and that, that that's how bad it was and um so they're like oh we're sorry you know Orientation's almost over, and they're about to start testing. We can't start it over. You guys were supposed to be here at exactly 9 o'clock, not 9.07. I'm like, fuck. Because it wasn't just me that was like, there was this other chick that was late, too. So we were like, oh my god, it's going to be so embarrassing if they don't let us in. And they ended up not letting us in. So we're just like, ah. <laughs> so now I'm going tomorrow at 5 in the afternoon instead of 9. I was really hoping to do it today and get it over with because it's three hours long. Not the orientation, but the testing that you have to do to get in is three hours long. And I really wanted to get it over and done with as soon as possible. And I didn't want to do it at night like I'm going to now because, um, because, uh, I just, I get really tired like around eight, which is when it's going to be over. So, yeah. Um, anyway, uh, Let's see, not much has been happening. My birthday is tomorrow. I'll be turning 18. Um, I got some really cool things from my mom. Uh, she bought me these, like, German shoes. They're, they look kind of look like flats, but they feel like slippers when you put them on. It's really cool. But they're a little too small, and um, they kind of dig into the top of my feet which really sucks because they're perfect lengthwise but of course my feet are like too wide so they dig into my feet on the top and she also got me a diamond necklace it's a star and I love stars <laughs> so when I was in Texas with her I was like I want that necklace and it was on sale for like a hundred dollars but well, she didn't get it then she got it this time so that's all I've got so far for my birthday. But that's okay because I didn't really want anything. Um, everybody's been asking me, what do you want for your birthday? What do you want to do for your birthday? I'm like, just get me fucking cheesecake. Because <laughs> I love cheesecake. Uh, um, let's see, I had something else to tell you. Oh yeah, and mine and Steven's one year anniversary is on the 12th. And um, my dad was going to treat us to... Um, really expensive dinner and movie date. Um, we were going to go to a restaurant called Cattleman's, which has got like the best freaking steak and twice baked potato in the world. So we were going to do that, but um, instead I decided, because I wanted to do it, which is why we were going to do it. It was going to kind of be like a birthday slash one year anniversary date kind of thing. But instead I decided that um, we'd take a a trip down to Apple Valley, California, which is kind of around Bakersfield, if any of you are familiar with that, and, um, I decided to trade it off because the trip down there by car will be about $150, you know, when it comes to gas and brakes and food, which is what the dinner and date would have cost, about $150 also. And the reason why we're going down there is because my boyfriend, Steven, um, he's a drummer, and his drum set is still down there. He wasn't able to take it with him up here when he moved because he took a plane and there was, we couldn't figure out how to get the drums on the plane. We didn't have all the right, we didn't have the right luggage for it. And then we were going to UPS it up here, but his dad is, um, can sometimes be a little uncooperative. So we've decided that we'll just take a trip down there instead and bring the drum set back. But I won't be able to go, unfortunately, because our um, car isn't big enough for me, my dad, Steven, and the drum set. 
So it'll just be my dad and Steven and the drum set. Which is also good because then he'll get to see his family and stuff. And he's been missing them like really bad. So. Yeah. And I'll be happy because he won't be playing video games all day. Instead he'll be drumming all day. Which is okay because, you know, at least it's not video games. And he's been really wanting, he's, you know, it's like a guitarist being away from their guitar for two months. You know, you go insane. Which, by the way, I finally got my guitar tuned. I've had it for like two years. I bought it on my 16th birthday. And, um, I never played it because, um, I practiced for a f like a month and then I just started getting bored with it <laughs> and stopped. And so I never picked it up. And then when I wanted to practice last year, um, it was out of tune, like horribly out of tune. And I could never find anyone to tune it for me. So I finally found someone to tune it for me. And he might even give me lessons. So that's really cool. But I need to replace the strings because, you know, it hasn't been touched for two years. And even though it hasn't been touched, the strings have still been stretched from me messing with the tuning knobs. So gotta restring it, which he said he'll do for me also, which is really great, because I don't have no idea how to do that, <laughs> so yeah, um, baby's been kicking a lot, I finally realized that she wakes up at around 5 in the morning to kick the hell out of my stomach, <laughs> and then go, it falls back asleep, and then wakes up again like around 10. I really like it. I can't wait to see her. <sighs> I'm not for sure if it's a her. I won't really find out till the 15th, but I'm pretty positive it is. Hmm. I don't really know what else to say. I just kind of came to talk. Um, oh. Oh, oh, oh. I thought it was really crazy how I put, it was like, you guys were just waiting for my previous video. <laughs> because, like, within two days, I had six subscribers, which probably isn't a lot compared to most people, but it was really exciting for me. It was like three subscribers one day, and then three the next day, and I was like, whoa! Thank you guys, it's totally awesome um, that you guys are subscribing to my channel. I'm really excited about that, and I look forward to getting to know you guys. Um, uh, and then that video got like, I'm not sure how many views it has now, but within two days, there was about almost 200 views. That was even more exciting because normally my videos only get like 30 views. <laughs> and then, wow, just one day, almost 200. So, uh, that was pretty cool too. I feel all special now. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't really have anything else to say. I'm waiting for my neighbor's lemon tree to ripen because I really want to freaking make lemonade. See, one of our neighbors, our neighbor behind us has a lemon tree that hangs over our fence. And then our neighbor to the left of us has a pomegranate tree that also hangs over our fence. So, me and my family have really been looking forward to both becoming ripe so we can make lemonade. And so I can make pomegranate lemonade because I love pomegranate juice. Well, not pure pomegranate juice alone. It tastes, it's a little bitter for me. I have to sweeten it. But with lemonade, it is so good. Pomegranate lemonade. Yum. I don't know if I mentioned this in my previous video, but if you guys have not heard or seen the documentary called The Secret, I really, really strongly um, suggest that you do. Uh, it's, I mean, you might think, ew, documentary, totally boring. And it is kind of boring after the first ten minutes, because after the first ten minutes, it's just like repeating everything that they've already said, but it's a pretty cool thing to see, and I mean, when you see it too, you kind of feel stupid, because it's something that you know already that you just haven't, like, enforced, I guess, but it's really cool. Everybody needs to see that documentary. I mean, everybody. Okay, I gotta go now, because I'm about to run out of time, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.